Welcome to Everyday Happiness, where we create lasting happiness in two minutes a day through my signature method of intentional margins, creating harmony between your to-dos and your priorities, happiness science, and musings about life. I'm your host, Katie Jeffcoat, and social connection seems to be the thread that weaves the fabric of happiness. I was thinking about this, contemplating happiness for all and for myself, after recording yesterday's show. The research by Sonia Lubomirsky and her colleagues and really others in this field point to social connection as a happiness cornerstone. The more you are in relationship with others, the happier you are. It's actually a circle. So you are happier when you have social connection and you will attract more social connection when you are happier. If you can improve or cultivate connection, it will improve your well-being. It's basically like a positive feedback loop. But when we isolate ourselves because of a global pandemic or feelings of depression or sadness, we interrupt this loop and we retreat from social connection, right? So while taking a pause may be beneficial for you at times, Say a long weekend, a meditation retreat away, a couple of months when you're head down writing a book. Those are instances when you are choosing to back off the social connection in a different way. So I I don't want to confuse these feelings here. When you're isolated, it can have a negative effect on happiness if you are not finding other ways to connect. That's probably not a surprise to you, right? But the Zoom craze, it's like up like a zillion percent since the pandemic. People are finding ways to connect. Even my parents and my grandparents learned how to Zoom to connect with others. My extended family, they took our traditional third Sunday breakfast online. And now like even more people that aren't even local can can join in. I've heard of people playing competitive video games with family online, like Mario Kart and like games like that. Nothing really replaces real life human connection. There's like a magic energy there. But we can be creative and connection, even online, is a good thing. So it should give us hope. So I invite you to connect with someone today. Whether you meet up for a cup of coffee or you send a text or a message that says, I'm thinking of you, hope you're well. Points of connection really do matter, not only for your happiness, but for the happiness of others.